So it looks like Ubisoft is finally taking the jump. Uh, Ubisoft known for having a huge plethora of third-party games uh, spanning the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PC, and a few on Wii U. Um, handhelds, things like that. They've finally said, we're done with last gen. We're not touching anything else like that. They're only going to be making games for PS4, Xbox One, and PC from now on. And I find that very interesting. This is actually something I've been really hoping would happen soon. Like, we'd finally see a big developer just come out and say, okay, no, we're, we're done making games for, uh, for last-gen stuff. I mean, it's... Like, the PS4 and the Xbox One both came out in 2013. The end of 2013. So it's been out for a while now. And people still haven't really upgraded. Um, however, they did say that uh, they are still planning on using their uh, on making their Just Dance series uh, still on the PS3 and Xbox 360, which, you know, that's fine. The reason that they gave for that is because it has a different, uh, where was it? Uh, they, they said pretty much it has a different uh, market, we'll say. It's more for casual people that, you know, don't really want to upgrade just yet. Um, frankly, I see this as a positive thing because now we'll see developers, or at least Ubisoft and hopefully whoever follows them, um, actually making games built from the ground up for the PS4, Xbox One, and higher end devices. Uh, I don't have a PS4 or an Xbox One, I just have a PC and a Wii, a Wii U. But um, it's good news for me because that means maybe they'll focus on making things look nicer. Uh, as it is already, I mean, I look at the PS4 and Xbox One graphics and laugh because I do much better than that, but um, it's nice to see that they're finally moving on. Um, and, you know, it's about time, too, because that generation went on for ages. I believe it was one of the longest uh, console generations we've seen in a long time. Um, but, yeah, now that Ubi finally has ditched it, Maybe we'll see other third-party developers uh, jump on the bandwagon with them. I mean, first party, we've already seen them do things for their newest console exclusively because they want to push that console. Now that we're seeing third-party devs, maybe we'll also see PS4 and Xbox One sales start to increase. Um, Wii U, they, they didn't really mention the Wii U in this, which means they probably aren't planning anything for Wii U, but... You know, as it is, the Wii U kind of stands on its own with its first-party lineup. Um, but yeah, so what do you think about this? Uh, overall, I think it's probably a good thing. At, we're, we're finally seeing someone move on. Someone finally bites the bullet and just says, fuck off to the PS3 and the Xbox 360. And we're actually going to be, hopefully be getting some actual next-gen titles, not cross-gen. Um, oh, also, The Division was delayed to 2016, so... That game that actually looked pretty good coming out of Ubisoft is uh, not going to be out for a bit. Which is saying something. I'm not big on Assassin's Creed, so Ubisoft has been nothing to me lately. Anyway, this has been the Mayor of Gaming. Until next time, have a good one.